Okay, so as you might have caught in the last video I dropped, I have to be way more careful about the music clips I use in videos. But well, with this album, ugh, let me just push that limit as far as I can possibly do it. I think it'll only take five seconds for most of you to determine whether or not this record is going to be your kind of thing. Wow, okay, I don't know what to say even. Okay, so here's the deal. I have a little downtime before our Lord and Savior drops next Friday, and I've had this Patreon request just kind of lingering in the wings for a little while now. Hi, Lung? If you can't already tell, they're weird. Like, so very, very weird. This is definitely up there as one of the most unconventional acts I've ever covered. Oh god, again, how would I even describe these guys? Uh, well, Wikipedia lists them as experimental folk, but... Like, uh, okay, in my book, that should be EXPERIMENTAL in, like, all caps, and folk in teeny weeny tiny whiny little tiny text. That's also completely runic. Heilung is more historical reenactment than a full-blown band. Kinda. Uh, see, their shtick is basically creating music that reflects an ancient viewpoint of Northern European history. And by ancient, I do literally mean ancient. Their lyrics and melodies are literally taken from texts from the Iron Age. Like, there's some bands out there trying to be Viking metal. These guys are just trying to be straight up Vikings. There's no drunks rolling downhill here, which, you know, in my book means zero out of 10 wouldn't buy Frost again. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But yeah, uh, no one, and I mean no one out there, can accuse these guys of not being committed to their gimmick. It's not just the lyrics and presentation that are rooted in the past though. Almost all of the instrumentation is also just pulled straight out of 2000 years ago. This album may look like a metal record, and these guys may give off kind of a metal vibe, but people don't be deceived here. There are no amps, no distortion, hell there isn't even anything as sophisticated as like a guitar or a drum kit. The list of instruments they utilize include a lot of crude and ancient percussive instruments. Lots of rattles, bells, animal skin drums. Their repertoire of instrumentation includes a clay rattle filled with human ashes. I don't know how that changes the sound from just, you know, regular ashes, but I don't know, you do you. And also just like, straight up, a forearm bone. A literal ulna, people. That was somebody's arm. Like, again, while this band isn't exactly metal from a sonic standpoint, that sure is metal as fuck, isn't it? There's also lots of other ancient elements you don't see in modern music today. Lots of throat singing and yelping and the like. As I've already demonstrated, the music here all feels very tribal and primitive. Like these are the ominous noises you hear when you're lost in the middle of the forest and stumble upon a sketchy cult isolated in the middle of the woods. This could practically serve as the soundtrack to Midsummer. They've said in interviews that the purpose of their music is to make the listener feel left at ease and in a relaxed state after a magical musical journey that is at times turbulent. And you know, I can't say that they don't accomplish that here. For as unsettling as the music can often be at times, there is a calming sort of peacefulness to it. But y'all, like I've already said, this stuff is strange. It's very strange. It's like high grade strange. For those of you that like your music weird, spooky, and crazy atmospheric, 
this is one to check out for sure. I could see this being terrific stuff to play in the background while you work or study and the like. Give it a shot if any of that sounds appealing to you for sure, but this isn't something I'd go out of my way to dig up necessarily. Futha gets three galls out of five. Super special thanks to 